Hi, I'm Rachel, the course leader for textiles at Cardinal Newman College. The most thing people ask me when they come on open days, what is textiles? So textiles is an art based course. It comes under the art and design umbrella and everything we do centres around observational drawing. So first of all, we'd ask students to go out with the cameras and the sketchbooks and gather first hand inspiration. So usual topics could include flowers, gardens, parks, architecture, uh, portraiture, they're the usual ones. Once the students gathered a body of research, they then bring that back into the classroom. So we love it when students bring objects in to draw from still life, but also taking lots of photographs and printing those off to work from. So once we've got the photographs in the classroom, we'll then start to do a body of drawing and the drawing underpins everything that we do on the course. So from the drawing, we will take that into lots of different forms. So drawing in textiles is uh, much about mark making. So it's not just drawing with pencils and painting. It's all about um, capturing the colours and the textures of the object. So yes, we will draw um, with pencils on paper, but we'll also draw with um, embroidery, machine embroidery, plique, um, print making, um, ceramics. So lots and lots of different techniques and processes. So once we've collected our body of drawing, we then take it into the textile side. So textiles means working with materials. Those materials can come in any form in textiles. So usually um, it is hand and machine embroidery to begin with. Students don't have to have any prior knowledge of sewing or embroidery. We'll start from scratch. Leading on from embroidery, we'll do things like felt making, screen printing, Photoshop, photography, ceramics, wire work. So lots and lots of different techniques and processes to build the student's portfolio up. So outcomes on the course can include um, any form the student wants to take. So we really want to know what the student wants to do after A-levels textiles. So the textiles course is, um, opens up lots of opportunity to a range of degrees um, at university. Building a student portfolio depends on the degree that the student wants to take. So that could be fashion, textile, surface pattern, jewellery making, um, even fine art, graphics, photography, because the textiles is such a broad course, it covers a lot of the art and design disciplines. Once the students decided what they want to do as a degree course in art and design, we can tailor the student portfolio to that degree course. So if a student's more interested in fashion, they can do fashion outcomes, garment construction. If they're more interested in interior design, surface pattern, they might choose to do more screen printing or digital um, Photoshop work for the portfolio. So that can lead them to the, um, the interviews that they want to pursue later on. What next for our students? So many students do decide to stay here at Cardinal Newman to do a foundation course in art and design. So that's the one year art and design course. Whereas others know exactly what they want to do and they'll progress straight to university. So recent universities applications have included Manchester Met for the more local ones, UCLan we've got really good links with for fashion, fashion promotion. Um, Edinburgh Design for Costume has been very popular lately and one student this year has got a place at Hampton Court for the Royal School of Needlework which is a really prestigious course, they only take about 10 students a year, she'll be progressing there this year. So to get onto the textile course you will need five fives at GCSE. One of those fives needs to be in art and design or textiles. If you haven't got textiles or art then you can talk to the tutor and we can um, set you a, a mini portfolio of work to do and have a conversation about the place on the course. I hope you found the information useful. If you have got any further questions then please feel free to contact me anytime.